This is an example of the van that I'm going to be converting. And this is the actual van once the job is complete. So this is a Volkswagen Transporter T5 Combi and the customer wants windows in both the rear side panels. Most of this video will be focused on one side as both sides are the same. As with most vans, when doing a panel to glass conversion, there is no need for a, a template. The inner skin is already cut out, so you simply use that as a template. I've already covered the seats and removed the panel lining, so I'm just going to get right into it. So first I'm going to cut four pilot holes in the bodywork, round the edges. I like to cut a hole in each corner and you can see I open up the holes after drilling so I can easily get my saw blade in. Then I cut the corners first with a narrow blade that I have ground down on a bench grinder. And here I'm going to scribe a straight line over the centre support strut for when I cut out the panel for guidance. Once I've cut the corners, I cut the straights with a standard wide blade. This gives a neat straight cut. Cutting the panel out this way stops the panel from flapping around, which is the case when only cutting one hole and making one cut. So once both panels are cut out, I'm going to go and tidy up all the edges with my finger file, just to make sure everything's nice and straight and no sharp edges. So that's the edges all cleaned up. Nice and straight, ready to be primed. So the panels are cut out, filed down. Everything's cleaned up, ready just to, to prime the bare metal. So I'm just gonna put a coat and a primer all around the, the bare metal where I've cut the panels out. Just to stop it rusting. Now, I use TerraZone products from Hinkle. Um, all comes with a primer, we'll see the bond, and like a white spirit for cleaning it up. 
I buy it in bulk because I'm doing it every day. Um, if you're going to try this for yourself, I buy my my camper windows from from Camper Glass mostly, or, cam or just campers. There is various other companies. I know that Camper Glass also sell bonding kits for individual jobs. Um, I've put links in the description to these places, so if you're going to try it yourself, um, I'd recommend Camper Glass. They're really a good established company. So that's the bodywork primed up now. Um, I'm just going to leave that for five minutes to dry before I put the, the knock-on edge trim on. So while I'm waiting on the primer drying on the bodywork, I'm just going to prep my, my windows, clean the edges, prime them. I've already cleaned the glass with glass cleaner, I'm just going to go around the edges with the white spirit. I think the kits you get from Camper Glass do a, a similar uh, a wipe that comes with the bonding kit. So you're just cleaning around the edges just to get rid of any, any silicon residue any contaminants on the glass. And I'll do the same on the bodywork. Just do the same with the, the black primer, just all around, all the way around the edge of the glass, about about 20, 20 to 25 mil in from the edge, all the way around. Same on the bodywork. Not too close to the edge is where it's gonna it's gonna spill out once you push the glass into it, but not too close to the the inside cutout so it's not gonna over spill into the inside. Okay, so I'm going to put this edge trim on now. This is a what would class as an extra large edge trim. You can see how wide it is. This covers the, the both panels on a T5. It's quite wide. Just goes straight over the. So it's really important that you get a straight edge with the bodywork because if you can imagine once you put this trim on this this just sits this just goes to the contour of the, in the metal edge so if there's any any dips or raises in the, the metal edge you're going to know, you're going to see it once the, the rubber trims the the edge trims put on it gives it a right Neat and tidy finish. Just get your snips and tidy up an edge. Beautiful. Ready to fit the windows now. 
Just need to set up my glue gun. Just put a couple of bits of masking tape on the glass. Once it's in place, just tape it up. Just to stop it sliding down until the glue sets. So I've got my Milwaukee M12 caulking gun and my Terrazon 60 minute bond. You don't have to use a battery gun, you could use a hand caulking gun, but um, if you're doing it, I'm doing it every day, so it's worth it. So this nozzle is a pre-cut nozzle, and you can see that it's got a, a V cut on it. So when I apply that to the bodywork, it's going to be a nice high thin bead. When I push the glass into it, it'll squash down, make sure there's no gaps. You can just use that edge trim as a guide once you get to here. Nice even high bead. I'll just touch the joins up so there's no gaps. Make sure it's a hundred percent watertight. And just pick the correct window. It's just a case of gaining it up. Just leave in two or three millimeter all the way around, just get up a, an even gap all the way around the bodywork. And you just want to make sure it's lined up for height with uh, the window in front of it. I've got to really push this one in to get, a, to get it level, to get it flush. As the, the existing windows in this combi are pushed right into the glue. So I've got to really push my, mine's right into the glue as well to, to make sure it's level. That door is sitting in a little bit as well. Once I'm happy with that, I'll just tape it up. I'll just give it a little extra bit of tape. If you'd like to see another conversion I've done on a Toyota Pro Ace on the rear doors, you can watch that by clicking on the link on the screen now. Thanks for watching.